Our next guest is Lloyd Conley. Lloyd has 20 years experience in counseling, in healing, in deliverance ministries. Lloyd also happens to be the uh, one in charge of overseeing and developing the uh, healing room, which is going to be on our crossover project website in the near future. Welcome to our show, Lloyd. Hey, thanks, Mitch. Good to be here. Glad to have you. Let's pick up with this objects that we're talking about sure. in the Bible and um, share with us a, a, a holy object in, in a, used in the Bible. Well, probably the, uh, the most significant holy object in Scripture is the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark is the golden box that Adonai told Moshe to build in order to hold the Ten Commandments and other objects that uh, are representative of his covenant with Israel. And it's also symbolic and, and representative of the presence of God and is to be treated as such. So it's a most holy object. It's the most holy object in Scripture. So give us a true account of how that object was used and, and the Holy Spirit working with it, through it. You know, one of the, uh, one of the most interesting stories I think about the ark is, uh, is in Samuel, 1 Samuel uh, 5 and 2, where the Philistines actually capture the Ark of the Covenant and they place the ark in the temple of their gods. Now, typical of uh, pagan pantheons, there are many gods in their temple, but the chief god was Dagon. He was the head of the pantheon. Okay. And so when the Philistines put the Ark of the Covenant in their temple, every morning, Dagon would be on his face. Fall and over, toppled he'd, over. He'd topple over. And so the Philistines would have to come in and erect Dagon. The next day, they'd come back, and Dagon would be on his face again. And this happened several days until finally they got the idea that there's something wrong with this Ark of the Covenant. And so they began to move the ark from one city in Philistia to the next. And that caused the Philistines a problem too because every place the ark went, there was death and cancer essentially. Tumors and death followed the ark within the Philistine cities everywhere it went. So they were trying to take the most holy of objects, mm -hmm. and but they were getting persecuted through it. Yeah, and, and the way I see it is, they attempted to take the most holy object, essentially the presence of God, and put it in an unholy place, and that wouldn't work. And so, as a result, the Philistines experienced a curse, and the curse of death. And so finally, they decided to release the ark and give it up.